Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. Today we are looking at all the action from the Macau Grand Prix weekend of 2020. And like many other forms of motorsport, this has been heavily affected by the events of this year. So we have Formula 4 instead of Formula 3. A much reduced schedule for this weekend with no motorbike, but still plenty of action to look at. So sit back, relax and let's begin. Welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. So we start with GT racing and the Macau GT race is usually one of the biggest events of the year in terms of the GT class but it was missing a lot of top stars this year so plenty of action from the locals. As you can see here from this Lotus it's actually really hard to get around a corner and now remember this gold Lotus. And now here's another Lotus finding it tricky at Macau. And it's the car in the background you want to look out for. Yep, it's our old friend in the Gold Lotus spinning at the exact same corner and hitting the exact same piece of barrier. And here he is again at the exact same corner. If you're going to crash this much, better not have a gold car that's easily recognisable. Now here's two Ginettas getting very friendly. Or very unfriendly, depending on how you look at it. He seemed to get away with that one though. Now the big boys, and here's another gold car struggling, although this one with a little help from his friends. And here's a lone BMW spinning into the barrier. Looks like a fairly slow accident, that one. And here's a gold Mercedes again. I would stay away from gold cars at Macau if I was going there. Now there's something wrong with this BMW. Yep, definitely something wrong with it. And Macau being a tight street circuit, it's actually very hard to recover cars. And here's a gold Mercedes again. Definitely the unlucky colour of Macau. And this Mercedes does no better. In fact, it probably does a lot worse. Race to win? You might actually want to finish the race first. So we'll leave the GT class on the podium. Once again, it's the local drivers taking the victory this year. None of the big names of GT Racing turning up. But we move on to the single-seaters. As I said, this is part of the Chinese F4 Championship rather than all the stars of Formula 3. But the local F4 drivers still give us plenty of action to look at. Including this car doing the classic mistake of going straight on at Lisboa. And these cars are not easy to turn around. I don't know what this car's doing. It just seemed to drag against the wall and then spear off to the right. And this one also speared off. But this time to the left and like a dart hits the barrier. Now here's another one spinning. And then like a dart heading straight for the barrier. But actually avoiding it this time. And here's the classic Macau car park. It only takes one to spin. And... As I said, these cars are very, very difficult to turn around. Not really designed for it. So if you get stuck in the middle of the track, you tend to cause a pileup. Although they are queuing very politely, which is very good of them. I think it's going to take a while for these marshals to move this car off the track. Although that crane is very handily placed. It's something at Macau they've become very, very good at after all these years of holding this Macau weekend. They know how to recover a car quickly. Or after a few hours, as it may seem. I'm sure they'll get it out of the way eventually. Now, the safest place to be at Macau is surely behind the safety car. Because nothing can happen. It's just following the car in front at a safe distance. What could possibly go wrong? There is no way you can have an accident behind the safety car. Unless you're these knuckleheads, of course. It's amazing they allow some of these people to race. And again, it's very, very hard to turn around in a Formula 4 car. 
I'm sure he has a few choice words for his compatriots. And here's another car performing a magic trick, disappearing and then reappearing. Now the best place to have an accident at Macau is somewhere where no one can see it. This one almost got away with it, but sadly slides into view. Although one of its wheels does try to stay hidden. And we'll leave the F4 race behind. Only 15 cars actually making it to the finish. And not too much action. But the Macau Grand Prix goes to a young Chinese driver. Which is a great feather in his cap. But we'll move on to our final category, the Touring Cars. No World Touring Cars this year, we have to make do with the Chinese Touring Car Championship. But this race, unlike the others, does have a couple of big names. Namely, Ma Qing Ha, who has won World Touring Car races. And Rob Huff, who has won more races at Macau than anyone, with 10. They both line up at the front of the grid. But there's also the Touring Car Cup, and as you can see, this Ford Focus isn't going to go much further. And here's a Mitsubishi sliding off at Lisboa. And a Mini copying the exact same mistake. Now, this Mini even paused for applause. Now here's two more cars getting very friendly. That's a big hit. But actually as it turns out, he's just helping his friend get in the pit lane. And here's another car sneaking off the track, performing magic. And a Volkswagen failing to make it round a corner. And here's an Audi going far too fast, slamming backwards into the barrier and grinding along the rail. And of course, the classic car park. But this one was kind of interesting. So you see the two cars seem to spin independently of each other. And then another car spins avoiding them. Another car drives into the back of one of his partners. And then a Honda gets a bit too frisky. And this is very unfriendly, but at least the teammates help each other continue. And another car park. And apparently towing cars are just as hard to turn around as the Formula 4 cars. Plenty of cars in the towing car field this year. All of them waiting patiently. Now here's a damaged Volkswagen and you can always ask yourself, how did this happen? Well, quite simply, he had a little help from his friends, although I think he did a lot of it himself. But he has torn the front of his Volkswagen off, perhaps making it lighter. And here's two cars entering the frame, with one of them going the wrong direction. Now here's the big one. This is Rob Huff and Ma Quing Ha, and Rob Huff just nudges Ma into the barrier and does a massive amount of damage. That pretty much settled the race in Huff's favour, although he was disqualified. But Ma Quing Ha was left at the back of the track. And here's another Audi looking to do a facelift. Slams into the barrier across the track and there's just nowhere for this car to go. Again, huge damage done. And here's a Honda doing the exact same thing. Again, plenty of damage. So we'll leave the touring cars and the Macau weekend behind. This race sadly finished behind red flags. Rob Huff was the winner, but he was disqualified. So he'll have to try again next year. As will we. Thank you for watching and have a good one.